Hello and welcome to the video Spring Boot Many Best Pagination Using Timelift and Bootstrap with me Nam Amin from CodeJava.net Through this video, I'd love to share with you a simple solution to display the pagination that includes many pages in an existing Spring Boot application As you can see, in a listing page, there can be many pages and displaying showing all the pages at once on the screen like this is not a good idea because it takes up a lot of space and it looks ugly especially on the smartphones so in this video i will show you how to update the existing pagination function in the spring boot application to display an ellipsis at the center like this indicating that there are more pages between the first page and the last one and also uh, uh, showing an ellipsis uh, on the left indicating that there are more pages uh, before the current page and uh, showing an ellipsis uh, on the right indicating that there are more uh, pages uh, after the current page so i have an existing uh, java spring boot uh, project here uh, as you can see uh, let me start this uh, spring boot project uh, first and in this project, I developed a module of the products module that includes the function to list all products. And I use uh, pagination, as you can see, total pages, total items, current page, and uh, the number of uh, items per page is configured here: five products per page, and. Uh, for bootstrap and uh, time lift and this is a code to show the pagination uh, component okay and the application is up and running uh, at this context part slash uh, show me admin port number 8080 and let me use chrome browser to access this application local host port number 8080 and slash show me admin and this is a product module and uh, view all here to show the list of products so as you can see there are five products per page and in the pagination section here you can see there are many pages up to 21 pages and the number of pages uh, we uh, grow uh, over time so uh, showing uh, many pages uh, on the screen like this uh, is not good especially on uh, uh, smartphones uh, for example on a smartphone or smart device uh, having a smaller screen the pagination section will look like this and you can see it uh, looks ugly right especially when the number of pages uh, grow larger so in this video, I will show you how to update the pagination function to uh, display the pagination that includes many pages nicely. Suppose that we want to show only 10 pages in the pagination uh, if the total page is greater than 10, uh, like this here, showing only 10 uh, pages. If the total page is greater than 10, uh, we show uh, an ellipsis uh, like this uh, at the center or to the left and uh, to the right uh, like this and note that in all cases uh, the buttons first previous and next and last uh, remain unchanged so come back to the project and this is the html paste and the section that Displays the pagination using bootstrap and time lift here. And as you can see, uh, this is a code snippet for the first and next uh, buttons. As they uh, will not be changed. And uh, the same for the buttons. Uh, next page and last page, uh, they will not be changed. And only the pages uh, at the center will be changed. Okay, so. Uh, this is a code that shows all the pages uh, you can see 
it runs the sequence from one to total pages here. So now we need to update the code to uh, display this uh, section only when the total page is uh, less than 10. So we use th um, block here, th if here, and the condition is uh, total page is uh, less than or equal than 10. Uh, we Less than 10, then we show all the page numbers. You can see the total basis is sent from the controller here. Total basis here. If you have not implemented the pagination function before, you can uh, refer to one of my video on my uh, channel, uh, Spring Data JPA, uh, paging and sorting. Okay, and in case the total base is greater than 10, then we need to do a different uh, logic here. Total base is greater than 10. And too many bases, for example, and uh, uh, refresh, you see. Refresh, and you can see it shows uh, too many pages uh, because the total pages is greater than uh, 10. Now, with the total pages greater than 10, and in case the current page is less than or equal uh, than 5, or uh, greater than the total page uh, minus uh, 4, here, uh, so we uh, display the first uh, 10, first 5 pages here from 1 to 5, and the uh, ellipsis at the center is uh, for the page uh, number 6, and uh, the last page is uh, running from total page minus 4 to uh, total pages. Okay, so uh, let me update the code here for the case that uh, the current uh, best is uh, less than or equal to 5. So we use a if uh, statement of time if here. If uh, current best, current best is the variable sent from the controller here, current best here. Current best is uh, less than or uh, equal to 5, or current best greater than uh, total base is uh, minus 4. Yeah, then we first uh, we uh, show the first 5 bases from 1 to 5 here. Yeah. So we can copy this code here and modify it. We run the each for loop of the i variable from 1 to 5 here. Okay, and refresh. And you can see the first five paste appear here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Page number three, page number four. Okay, and then uh, we show an ellipsis at the center here for the page number six. So we can copy and modify this code here. The page number is uh, number six here. And uh, Text is an ellipsis three dots here. And you can see three dots for the page number six here. Click here and you can see page number six here. You see page six here. Okay, and 
for the last five pages uh, running from the um, total base minus four to total pages. So we can uh, copy and modify the code uh, here. Sorry, this uh, should be inside the block here. And you can copy and modify this uh, uh, running the i variable from uh, uh, total basis minus, minus 4 to total basis and uh, refresh. And go to the first page. And you can see here we have the first five pages and then an ellipsis at the center. Then the last five pages, uh, yeah, if, uh, the user can see the there are twenty one pages in this listing. And now I can test uh, viewing uh, a page uh, with a number less than uh, five or uh, red the uh, then uh, number of total paste uh, minus 4 to the uh, total paste here Num paste number 2 paste number 3 paste number 4 paste number 5 uh, paste uh, number 18 paste number 21 here and in case the current paste number greater than 5 and uh, less than total paste minus 4 we uh, show the current paste at the center here and to the left of the previous four pages running from the current paste uh, minus four to the current paste and to the right uh, we show the next four pages running from current paste uh, plus four uh, sorry running from the current paste uh, to current paste uh, plus four and uh, to the uh, left, uh, we show an ellipsis here, which is a uh, best number equal to current best minus five. And to the right, we show an ellipsis uh, for the uh, best number, which is the current best uh, plus five. Okay, come back to the project and we update. Now the condition is. Uh, Now the condition is this: uh, the current best greater than five, and uh, current best uh, less than total best minus four. Sorry. So uh, the first thing is the. is an ellipsis uh, to the left yeah an ellipsis to the left uh, which is for the uh, best number um, current best current best minus uh, five and the, the ellipsis uh, to the right is uh, um, Current best uh, plus five. Current best uh, plus five here. And in the middle, we show the best numbers uh, from uh, current best uh, plus uh, minus four to current best plus four. So we can copy and modify this code. And running the i variable from uh, Current best, current best uh, minus four to current best uh, plus four. That's it. And now we refresh the listing best here, and uh, we are at the last best uh, best uh, twenty one here. Now I see the best number five. Yeah. Okay. And click the ellipsis at the center here. And you can see 
and now I'm at the page number 6 and you can see the current page 6 is at the center and uh, there's an ellipsis to the left indicating that there are more pages uh, to the left and an ellipsis to the right indicating that there are more pages at the end and I, and I can click the next button to move forward page number 7 and you can see here uh, it's showing the Page numbers from 3 to 11 here and then to ellipses uh, at the, uh, at the uh, on the left and on the right here and click next page number 8, page number 9, page number 10, page number 11 and so on, page number 15 Page number 18, when I click the page number 18, you can see there is only one ellipsis at the center because the current page number is uh, greater, greater than the total page uh, minus 4. Okay, so that's a very simple. Okay, so that I have a uh, segregative or simple solution to display the pagination that includes uh, many pages with an uh, ellipsis at the center indicating that there are more pages between the first page and the last one and an ellipsis to the left and an ellipsis uh, to the right uh, like this I hope you will find this video as a good reference to implement many page pagination in a Spring Boot application using Bootstrap and Tamlif please like, comment and share this video thanks for watching